Hey everybody, it's Luke of our Galaxy Tech Review, and today we've got a product from AmRobot. This is their two-in-one sweeping and mopping robot. Now, I've done some uh, automatic robot cleaning devices reviews in the past, so if you want to check that out, you can. This one I was pretty excited because it's kind of a two-in-one. It gives you that mopping function in case you want to mop your hardwood floors or your tile. It will do that as well. Now, it's priced on Amazon at the time of this review for $139, and they also have a $15 off coupon right now, so you can get it for about $125-ish dollars. I'll have that link in the description below where you guys can check it out. So let's dig inside the box, find everything that comes in it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you get the box open, this is what you get. Obviously, you're going to get the main uh, unit itself, the main vacuum cleaner. We're going to set that to the side just so that we can show you everything else that comes with it. Now, of course, you get a, a docking station with this, and it does have that function that when it runs low on power, it will automatically go back to the docking station, or you can just hit the home button on the remote control, just a single power in there, and some feet on it if you're going to put it on tile or hardwood flooring. Now we'll set that to the side. We also get a mop attachment here, which is actually pretty cool. I like the fact that this will give you a chance to uh, be able to attach this and be able to clean up your uh, hardwood floors and or tile. Uh, and you can see that that attachment has this cloth on top and there's the water chamber for you. Uh, pretty simple. It's kind of just a snap in on the bottom of the device that I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, but it's got some kind of Velcro to hold this on here and if you pull it all the way off you'll see uh, where you'll put the water in and there it is right there you'll lift that up and you'll be able to fill the water chamber and use this as a automatic mopping device which is actually very cool now they give you a full-fledged uh, remote control here that will give you uh, manual control you can see the left right up and down buttons there it also has all the modes like sp uh, spot cleaning it also has zigzag and then edge cleaning uh, you can actually uh, do scheduling on this as well a pause a play and of course a home button to send it back to recharge so that's very cool as well uh, they give you a manual here which I'm not going to spend a lot of time on but there are some troubleshooting tips in here for the M robot that you can check out and uh, you can hold that to the side and check it out if you need to. They give you a replacement filter. Now there's already one pre-installed in the device so they give you an extra one which is awesome and they recommend that you change these filters every six months to a year depending on the usage that you're using your robot for. They also give you this a nice little uh, tool here uh, to clean out the tray uh, when you need to so that's awesome to have and they give you four different uh, sweepers here that will connect underneath the robot uh, one set for initially setting up and then a, a second set as extras and then of course you have your uh, AC power adapter here to plug in the docking station or you can use it to plug it in directly to the robot itself so you don't need the docking station if you don't want it you have that option Okay, let's look at the main robot itself, and you have your tray in the back here for removing debris. You also have a couple sensors on the back here uh, to help pick up with the remote control, and you do have a dedicated power slot in case, again, if you don't want to use the docking station, you can just plug it straight into the robot itself. Uh, at the top here, you're going to have, or the front, you're going to have your bumper here to keep it from actually bumping into walls and things like that with some sensors built in. Now you got your power button here this will power it on if you press it once and then press it once again it will automatically start to clean if you want to hook this up to the app that comes with this ios and android you'll hold that down for three seconds and it'll put it into a pairing mode Let's take a look at the bottom. You're going to have your kind of beater bar here, uh, and it is a pretty decent size. It's a little smaller than what I've seen on some other units, but it does a pretty good job at picking up debris. Now, these two brackets right here is where you're going to attach your mop attachment. If you do want to use the mop attachment, you can just attach it to the back like so. You've got a dedicated uh, power button there on the left-hand side. Make sure that that is on before you try to operate anything. It's just a kill switch underneath, uh, something that uh, you'll have to make sure that you have on. 
Now, uh, the wheels on this are pretty decent. Uh, on the front, we're also going to see that we have uh, two of those white pegs that are uh, going to be up top here. Those uh, silver pegs up top are for the docking station and the white pegs we're going to be using to attach the brushes. So I'll do that real quickly for you just to show you the initial setup and then you guys uh, will be ready to go and we'll do some testing here so that you guys can see exactly how this works. Now it's labeled left and right and each one of these has an L or an R on them. And again, they give you two sets so you have extras. So that's the left-hand side. You just have to line it up. It is a square, so it will pretty much go in pretty easy and it just pops right in like that. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. You just wanna make sure that you have the correct ones for each side. Now again, you've got two other ones in case those wear out, so you don't have to worry about uh, ordering uh, some right away or a year from now, you can just replace them. So now that's set up and ready to go, let's do some testing with this so that you guys can see how it runs. Okay, so for carpet usage, this was not too bad. I didn't have any problems with this running on carpet, and that's always a concern whether it will actually run on carpet or not. You can see I'm starting it out in kind of a spot cleaning mode where it will just go around in circles to clean up any debris you might have spilled in a, a certain area. Now I can take it and manually move it with the arrow keys. Uh, again, you can do this in the app, which I'll show you at the very end of the video, uh, as well as the remote control. So if you don't want to use the remote control, you can get an app for iOS or Android that will actually do the same functions that I'm doing with the remote control right now. So I can pretty much go in any direction that I want to. And if I get into an area that I don't want to, uh, I can turn it around manually, or I can just let it go wild by itself. And of course do a zigzag motion here where it's going to check for walls and do other things like that. Uh, no problems whatsoever for this particular unit running on carpet. You can see it's doing a pretty good job. It's leaving some nice uh, vacuum lines here. So it's, it's getting a pretty deep cleaning down even into this medium pile carpeting, which uh, is what a lot of you are gonna want this for. Uh, so we're gonna do a quick test on that uh, tile in the bathroom too as well. So we see how it transitions from both and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's test this going into the bathroom from uh, medium-sized carpet down to tile and then kind of onto that uh, bath mat there. Uh, no problems whatsoever. If you do hear some dinging, it's because I'm doing this manually and every time you change direction, it dings. If this is an automatic mode, you're not going to hear that dinging sound uh, just to let you know because I know I'll get questions about that. Does it ding constantly? Like that, that would be annoying. No, it definitely does not ding constantly. It's only because I'm using the manual buttons to guide it right now. Uh, but if it was an automatic mode, you wouldn't have that. So as you can see, it has no problems getting onto that higher carpet there from tile. So you're not going to have to worry about like picking that up or cleaning that separately. It should just be able to handle doing both. Uh, obviously, if you were to set up the mop function on this, you would uh, remove it so that it could clean the tile underneath. Uh, but And I thought about doing a mop test but it's not really gonna show up that well on this particular scenario. I did test it uh, aside of this and it did work pretty well. Uh, so again, having a device that will allow you to do sweeping and mopping is definitely a plus, especially at this price point. Okay, so after my little test here, I wanted to go over and show you how it cleaned up here and uh, what, you know, removing the tray uh, you can obviously easily do it just by a one click there and then you can open it up and I'll show you exactly. There's also a little door on the back of here that allows uh, bigger items uh, through uh, instead. So if you have like a bigger crumbs or something like that, it will actually let those through, which is actually pretty cool. And you can see that there is some dust here. Uh, my apartment is not totally 100% clean. It's not terrible, uh, but it does pick up dust out of, the, out of the deep part of the carpeting and did a pretty good job. So overall, you know, it's got uh, 1600 uh, PA for suction. So that's not the top of the line. You know, you're not over 2000 on that, uh, but it's not as low as I've seen on either one. It's got a pretty good suction on it and works pretty well. Okay, the last thing we're gonna to touch on is the app and it's called Smart Life. And they do give you a uh, QR code that you can uh, actually 
scan on Android or iOS and it will take you and allow you to download the app. And once you have it in there, you can hit the little plus button at the top and add your robot. So I've got the AM robot here and you can see it's got all of the functions uh, that you want. It tells you what your battery is and whether it's on the charger or it's just you know running at that same time. Now we can uh, tell it to go home with this recharge. You can do a spot clean, edge clean, random or zigzag. You can also add a schedule. So if you wanted to do scheduling uh, and you do have all of your controls up here, your uh, start and stop, your uh, forward, backward, your right and your left. And I can add timers in here to automatically start this uh, whenever I want. So if I want it to clean at two o'clock every day, it will do that and you can also power it off with just a, a simple click. So overall, you've got all of the functions of the remote in the app uh, connected through your Wi-Fi. Now it only supports Wi-Fi uh, 2.4 gigahertz. It does not support Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz. Just let that be known. Okay, so here's my uh, final thoughts of the AmRobot 350 sweeping robot. Uh, this is a perfect example of why you don't have to pay 300 or so dollars for one of the premium sweeping robots. This robot has app control, it has a remote control, it has mopping function, and of course it's a vacuum cleaner, and it does all of these things very solidly. I didn't have any problems whatsoever with this robot. Now you get about 120 uh, minutes of uh, sweeping power or mopping power with this robot per charge. Uh, and, you know, if you're living in a, a humongous house, maybe you're going to want one or two of these things, maybe. Uh, but I'm in an apartment here, and this does fine for me, and it probably will for 98% of the users out there. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Am Robot put together a solid robot at a solid price. Again, I'll have those links in the description below. If you guys have any questions or comments about this vacuum cleaner, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out and I'll check you guys out on the next video.